We are the 35th commencement day program at Beamtech Greater Noida. And today we have been joined by the man himself, the man behind the legacy of Beamtech Greater Noida, Dr. Harivas Chaturvedi, the director of Beamtech. Welcome to 10 News, sir. Thank you, 10 News. I am so happy and delighted that on this occasion, your team has uh, devoted a lot of time and you are giving coverage to students and parents' feelings. And uh, it is a big support to our institute's uh, 35th commencement day. And uh, we have started our journey in, in 1988 from Delhi. And in Greater Noida, we have set up this campus in 2004. So it is the 18th year at Greater Noida. And, uh, we have uh, found that there is a, there has been a, uh, an overwhelming response from the parents and students from all parts of the country, and uh, we have received so many applications and continuously interviewing uh, around 70% of the applicants. We could find out suitable candidates, and uh, now our 500 batch will start taking their classes from Monday onwards. Tomorrow and day after tomorrow, there will be some other orientation programs and the foundation course will start from Monday. So, this is very good beginning. After two years of struggling with COVID and facing a lot of challenges, financial, health, emotional challenges, uh, BIMTEC along with other higher education institutions, we are feeling that we are on a sound footing and we are getting a lot of good responses from the students and parents. Because of the uh, good teamwork done by our faculty, our staff, and very solid support provided by Virla family, we are very happy that you have been part of our journey. Thank you. Thank you so much for your kind words, sir. Uh, moving on, I would like to ask you that students who have joined this uh, institute, uh, they are the future leaders and who will join the uh, big MNCs and the companies across the globe. And uh, they will shape the India's economy in the future. So what is your advice or message to them? I think uh, our uh, guest, chief guest, Dr. Ajit Ranade and guest of honor, uh, Ms. Bhavna Patka, both of them have given a uh, very good perspective for them. They have given their mantras and tips. And uh, I would not like to delve into this because uh, today their speeches are most important. But as an educationist, I would like to say that every young man should see the life in long term not in short term perspective and uh, our students we always expect from them to work for longer duration with their first employer or second employer they should not join a company from campus and they should leave the company after one year of course there can be problems somewhere some places but most of the time with good, good companies our students have been working for longer duration, minimum three to five years. So this has been well appreciated by recruiters. So from this batch, when they will be passing out in 2024, I will expect that they should uh, select a good company. They should uh, strategize about their career roles. They should select the sectors. They should think about their dream company. They should work hard. And after getting a good company or a good brand, they should not be impatient as has been said by the chief guest that MBA should not be master of Bechen Atma. So uh, we, we think that uh, Mr. Mali and myself, we have uh, worked patiently with few employers. He has been with Government of India for last more than 35 years. I have been with Virla for last 23 years. Before that I worked with the Agra University for 20 years. In between, I worked for AICT, Government of India, for four years. So, I, I would like to say that taking a decision in haste without thinking in long term and uh, thinking that only money is important. A new recruiter can give you 10,000 rupees more, but it is not necessary that the new organization will provide you other things which you have been receiving in your existing um, organization. Yes. The government of India has not uh, reduced its salary or not deviated from their commitment that pension will you get. Then they are there. And we are also there. We are there to work for them. We don't say that we don't ask them. 
कुर्सी कहाँ से खरीदनी है कंप्यूटर कहाँ से खरीदना है किस टीचर को अपॉइंट करता है ये सब बातें ठीक नहीं है ओनर्स या नॉर्थ इंडिया में ओनर्स हर चीज़ में इंटरफियर करते हैं वो ठीक नहीं है हायर एजुकेशन में या कहीं ऑटोनोमी देनी चाहिए जैसे कॉरपोरेट में प्रोफेशनल मैनेजमेंट होता है रतन टाटा अगर टाटा ग्रुप के हेड थे तो क्या हर एक हर हर डिसीजन को वो लेते थे टीम होती है हजारों लोग होते हैं वो डिसाइड करते हैं सो इसी तरीके से हम अपने स्टूडेंट्स से ये उम्मीद करते हैं दिस वुड बी लॉयल टू गुड एम्प्लॉयर एंड इट इज अपू डेम टू सेलेक्ट ए गुड एम्प्लॉयर Why? Why do they select a wrong employer? Yeah. But even the BIMTEC will not allow any wrong employer. अगर किसी कंपनी के बारे में कंप्लेंट हो तो वो हायर एंड फायर करते हैं तो उनको वहाँ नहीं जाना चाहिए हम उनको बुलाते नहीं हैं हायर एंड फायर वालों को जैसे स्टार्टअप में बहुत सारे ऐसे लोग हैं ले ऑफ कर देते हैं चाहे जब ये कुट कर लिया चाहे जब उनसे कहा कल से मतान ऐसे नॉन प्रोफेशनल नॉन प्रोफेशनल जहाँ पर हो वहाँ नहीं so this is my advice to the batch uh, who will be passing out after two years and so this is a very enlightening and insightful advice i must say i'm sure that uh, the uh, beam tech is uh, going to equip and train their students uh, for the you know to face the unprofessional behavior and difficulties in the upcoming uh, industry situations so thank you so much for talking to tennis namaste i'm shelia agarwal and you're watching tennis